So, if you look at this sheet of paper, I want you to write down these commands or these steps. So write down what I've written in this column. Then when I do, I'm going to do a tutorial. And then in your own words, in the second column, you can write down what we've got to do. So if you think you can write one word and that explains what you've got to do, that's fine. But it's just so you've got a reference for when you eventually do the tutorial. You can look at this sheet and you can, you can do the tutorial by yourself. So that's why this is called a, called a toolkit, because you use it as a tool to, to complete exercises. Yep. 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 You can write all this down. All right. So I'll give you a second to do that. You'll have more time to come back to it as well. Right here. I'm going to close this. I'll put it back up at the end. Okay, because I'll make I'm going to make a video. I'm going to publish the video when we're when we're done the lesson. So I want to try to make the video as quickly as quick as possible. So what we're going to do is this type of effect. We're going to make an image that looks like this. Can you just close the door for me, Angelina? So we're going to make an image that looks like this. It's actually quite easy. There's really not too many steps involved. So as I go along, just pay, pay attention. All right, let's keep the computers turned around. Okay, so to begin with, you go to the OneNote. We're going to use this picture of Thor. Right click, right click, save image as. On my computer, it says download a copy. When you right click, you might have to, it might say save image as. Okay, but people should know how to save pictures from the internet. Yeah, save the save the picture, not the not the web link. All right. So once that's ready, once that's ready, you're gonna open that picture in Photoshop. All right. So that's important. You don't want to open it in a. You don't want to open a new file and place it in there. You want to. Open the picture just by itself. Right, okay, so here's the first part of the lesson. You need to find something called layers. This is what layers looks like. Layers are multiple copies of a picture placed one on top of the other. Does that make sense? So right now there's one layer. If I come down the bottom, if I go up here actually, click this little tab and go duplicate layer and now I've got two layers that layer is on top of that layer All right. I'm going to do that again I go up to this little tab duplicate layer just watch what I do, you'll get time to do it but you put it in the second column Right, right. So layers, they're in order of what, what appears on what, what appears on top. So the layer up the top here, I'm going to call it top. I'm going to call this middle. You don't have to rename them. This is just for the purpose of the tutorial. So the layer that's on the top of the stack is on top. So I'll show you what I mean. If I, I'm just going to quickly change this layer. So I inverted the color, right? If I put that layer below middle, it looks like the middle's on top. The middle's on top now, so you can't see the original top. If I pull that down again, tops on top. So whatever whatever layers at the top of the stack is the one you see. Okay, so that's what layers do. And that's what the layer order is. What's the next thing? 
Our next step is polygon lasso and selection. Do people remember what the polygon lasso is? Have we done it? Have we done this before? No. I know. So I'm also going to do this. I'm going to turn the eye off in the top layer. That means I can't see it anymore. So that means it's hidden. When you turn the eye off, that layer is hidden. I'm going to make sure the middle layer, I click on the middle layer, and I'm going to find this tool. Righto. I need to find this tool, polygon lasso tool. Righto. We've got the polygon lasso tool. I'm going to make a selection like this. Okay, so a selection means that this side of the picture is active. So I'll show you what I mean. So if I wanted to draw, I can only draw inside that area because that's the only area that's active. I can't draw over here because that, that side of the picture hasn't been selected. So this little area that's act that's got a dotted line around it, that's the active area. Okay, that's a selection. Selection means that's an active area. Our next step, filter, blur, average. Okay, this tutorial, this Photoshop thing, really, really simple. You only need one little, you only need one little effect to get this to work. And that effect is this. You go filter, blur, average. And what that does is mushes together all the colors that are in that active selection. So because I drew red there and there was green in the background, it mushed together the red and the green and made this purpley brown color. Yeah? If I make another selection that's on the other side of that picture because this side of the picture is mainly green when I go filter blur average it's mainly green because the that area was mainly green does that make sense so it makes that area the average color inside that selection All right cool All right now I'm going to go back to my original top layer. What I need to do is cut off one side of the figure. So I'm going to get my polygon lasso. I'm going to trace around Thor. It doesn't need to be super accurate. It can be rough. Rough is good for this sort of effect. And you want nice jagged lines. Okay, so notice I traced the outside of the figure. I traced that side of the figure. I'm now going to delete that part of the picture. So I go edit, cut. And I can see the background because I cut out from the top layer. Does that make sense? I'll do the same thing to the other side. All right, so now the other side of that top layer is selected. Edit, cut. All right, so what we've got now, if we're doing this Photoshop effect, we've made the back background a flat color. So now we need to do the triangles on the face. And it looks complicated, but really it is very simple. So. I might zoom in, so you've got a magnifying glass here. If you click the magnifying glass, you can zoom in. All right. To do this, you've got to use a little bit of artistic common sense sort of thing. So if I do this effect, if I trace over the eye, 
and go filter average blur average it's no good because the eye disappears and if I want to go back a step I can go to these four three squares and go back right but if I wanted to do his eyebrow I make I make a shape that follows the shape of his eyebrow and go filter, blur, average. If I want to do the second part of his eyebrow, filter, blur, average. All right, if I had, if I had to do that over and over and over again, it would take ages. So what I can do is make a shape and if you look up the top, you've got the last thing you did active. And if you're using a PC, if you press Alt, Control, F. And if you're using a Mac, if you press Control, Command, F, it applies that last effect. So I can make a triangle that's a flat color. I can make another selection. Control, Alt, F, and make another color. And if I trace the outline of his face, pretty quickly you start to see, you can start to see the effect we're going for. So you can turn a figure into a polygon image pretty quickly. Right out. So. Let's look at our command list. So layers are, what are layers? Yeah, multiple copies of the picture, but they're also just different, different pictures on top of each other. What does duplicate layer and layer order do? So duplicate layer is pretty obvious, right? It makes a copy of the layer. And layer order, layer order means whatever layer is in the top of the stack, you see. If you want to see what's below the layer on the top of the stack, you've got to click the little eye icon on and off. Polygon lasso and selection. The polygon lasso lets you make triangular selections. Lets you make jagged selections with straight lines. It's hidden when you open Photoshop. It's sometimes hidden under just the regular lasso. You don't want to use the regular lasso because it's it makes shapes like that. So it makes bendy shapes that we don't want to use for our tutorial. You want to use the polygon lasso because when you use it, it makes a jagged line or a straight line. And that's effective. That's what we want. Okay, and a selection. A selection is the area inside the dotted line or the moving line, which is active. How do you go? Who wants to tell me what filter blur average does? Yeah, averages out all the colors inside a selection. Edit, cut, 
just deletes a selection. Edit, cut, deletes a selection. A lot of kids make a mistake, they do this. They'll have two layers that look the same. I'll have two layers that look the same and they'll so that layer is on top of this layer and they'll make a selection in the layer that's below the other one so they'll make a selection like that it's visible through both layers but when they go that layer there is selected that layer is highlighted and when they go edit cut they'll go oh, that didn't do anything but it actually did something but just in the layer below so you gotta make sure when you're using layers, you, you're paying attention to which layer is highlighted because that's the one that the selection works in. All right, let's... And finally, the apply last filter means you can make a selection and you don't need to go filter, blur, average each time. You can just press Alt, Control, F. Alt, Control, F if you're using a PC. Or Command, Control, Control, Command, F if you're using a Mac. Does that make sense? <coughs> Alrighty, when you're ready, I want you to go to the OneNote. Download the picture of Thor and start this exercise. Yeah, you gotta use you gotta do this picture to begin with. You gotta do this picture to begin with. We've got an extension access exercise. Once you finish the picture of Thor, I want you to put it underneath your name. Can you guys sit down please? Once you finish the picture of Thor, put it in the OneNote underneath your name. If you've finished, you can select any picture you want and I want you to go to collaboration space and put it underneath this page. Okay, we're going to have a collection of people's tutorials. Right, when you're ready, you can start. This 